Once you guys today we'll take a look at how to take full control of Windows 11 or even Windows 10. As long as you're running Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro, you can use this method. Type in GP edit inside the search and open up the edit group policy. Once this is opened, you can go in here and you can add some policies to take full control of Windows, whether it be whether you want to block access to certain things or whether you want to allow certain access to certain things and certain people. So you can go in here and set it up for users and also for computer. So depending on what you want to set it up for, I'll show you exactly what you can do here. So whether you're trying to block access for people to install programs or whether you want to try and block access to certain areas of the computer, whether it be control panel or false DNS or whatever it may be that you're trying to do here. So let me show you examples here so you can get an idea of what group policy editor is because I get asked all the time about group policy and what it actually does. And you can see here, this is the beauty of having a Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro version. It gives you access to this. Now, if you share your computer or you want to set up loads of computers uh, in an environment where you want to block access to certain things, like for instance, control panel, you can go in here and block access to control panel. It's that simple. Once they uh, have this set, you will not be able to gain access to control panel. And this blocks a lot of features that people may want to gain access to, but you might not want them to gain access to. And we're just gonna quickly apply this and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So this is gonna completely block a control panel. Now, instead of restarting your PC every time to make these settings uh, work, what you need to do is go and put up a command prompt as admin, type in there GP update space forward slash false, and this will update the policy and make this uh, set in stone so it's working and uh, when you go to uh, control panel here you'll see that it will be blocked it won't allow you to gain access and you can see here it's now being controlled by the administrator so you can do this for a bunch of different settings on windows which can help lock down the system and give you full control of the operating system whether it be windows updates uh, windows security restarting after updates and all these sorts of things you can set these up now, even if you're trying to run them in the run command here, it won't allow you to, it will block it for the whole computer or just for that user, depending on what setting you set it up on. So going back in here, you'll see hide this uh, specific type of control panel items. If you don't want to block the whole control panel, you can actually go in here and allow and block certain types of features inside control panel. This might give you more control over what you want to allow the user uh, to use on that computer. So let's just assume that we're going to do, say, for instance, Microsoft here. There's a big list of these. I'll leave the link in the video description. And you can say, for instance, um, programs and features. This will block programs and features. So maybe you don't want someone going into the programs and features department and uninstalling programs or whatever it is from there. And it will completely block it and stop them from being able to get to this feature. It will disappear from the control panel altogether. And as you can see here, when I try this policy uh, by enabling it with the command prompt, you can see here, if I go back into control panel, I've reversed it now. So you can see control panel, but you won't see uh, the add and remove programs. It's that simple. So you can see it's been removed from the control panel itself. And you can do that for all of these or just some of these that you don't want people to gain access to. Pretty simple stuff, but really effective. Now I could sit here all day showing you different policies to set in place. And again, there'll always be one that I haven't shown that someone may want to see. So what I'll do is I'll show you some common ones here. And you can have a good route around inside uh, the group policy editor and take a look at some of the ones that you want to set on your system. You can even set these up and then once you've got it all set, create an image and roll that out across the network to a bunch of different computers with uh, tons of restrictions on them. And that way you, you can set up a load of computers in one fell swoop. So this time around, we're going to take a look at the user configuration here and we'll show you some of the more common ones. So you can go in here, go to administrative templates and then you can go to system here and then come down uh, on the right hand pane here. And you can now see that we have prevent access to command prompt, prevent access to registry editor tools, and a bunch of other areas that you may want to restrict uh, users from accessing. And you can do this via uh, the group policy editor. Now, by enabling this feature, 
This will also block uh, the actual uh, running of batch files and also scripts. It won't allow them to run on the system if you disable the scripting processing as well. And also the same thing goes for uh, the registry editor here. We can enable this and it will block registry editor from being opening because they can do a lot of damage from here. So if you're trying to install certain registry edit files or so if you're trying to open the registry editor or edit in there or even run a registry files, it's not going to allow you to do that once you set this uh, preset in place here. So as you can see, we also have Windows updates and a bunch of other ones on here. You can also block installation of programs and stop people from installing programs as well. And this can be useful. So there's quite a few useful ones here. And if you have a look here, I've blocked the command prompt here now. And you can see the command prompt has been disabled by your administrator. You won't be able to gain access to it and do anything with the command prompt, which is quite a powerful tool. Another thing is the registry editor here. You can do quite a lot of damage to the operating system by going into the registry editor and also changing settings that might uh, you know, be able to allow you to do certain things with that computer. This is now blocked and stops people from gaining access to it. So you can see the power of Group Policy Editor, how it can give you full control of the operating system and set it up so people can't tamper with certain things. Very, very powerful. And you've got this under the user configuration and also the uh, computer configuration as well, depending on whether you want to do it computer-wide uh, or, or user-based. So let's take a look here, uh, another one here. I just want to quickly show this one, and we'll call this one quits. It's called Windows Installer. As I've said before, you can block uh, people from installing applications. So maybe you want to, uh, you know, prohibit rollback, even stopping people rolling back the computer. You can do that here. You can even uh, stop them from doing other things on here as well. Removal of updates or even installing programs. So maybe they will try to install, uh, you know, a malicious program or something like that to gain uh, access to something, you can block that from here. You can allow it so that you can only install certain programs that the administrator allows, or you can just completely block all the installations of all programs and they won't be able to install anything apart from what's already on the system. You can uh, you know, restrict uh, URLs, certain URLs, domain names, all that sort of stuff on group policy. There's a bunch of different stuff. If you wanna see more about the group policy editor, let me know in the comments section, but I'll be happy to make more videos on this. If you want to see this, let me, let me know down below. And again, I'm just going to quickly apply this policy, and this will stop people from installing stuff. And we also have another one here, uh, prohibit uh, user installs as well. We can do that here and enable this feature as well. User install behavior, you can see hide users installs and stuff like that. You can get, get this set up here as well. There's quite a lot in here. I think that's going to be about it for this video. I think that's just covered uh, some of the features that Group Policy has. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments section below. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you had a lovely Christmas and a happy new year to everyone. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. If you want to chat, then join our Discord server. The link is in the video description. If you're a YouTube member and you've joined my YouTube members group, and you've joined my Discord server, let me know in the general chat area and I'll give you the appropriate role for the uh, type of tier that you've joined. Anyway, I shall catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.